Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Raya and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do this makeover. This is my version of Eid makeover. So if you wanna know how I did this, keep watching. For foundation, I'm gonna use my usual foundation, Krala and Queen Stick. I'm gonna mix these two shades together to bring my own shade. I'm gonna use my Vega sponge to blend it out. For concealer, I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. Next, we're gonna set the base with Kral and Translucent Powder and my Vega Buffer Brush. I'm going to bake my under eye with the same Kral and Translucent Powder. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. For this, I'm gonna use my Kral and Eyebrow Palette, and this is the color that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use this brush this eyebrow brush from Morphe. This has an angular brush on one side and spoolie on one side. Brush out your eyebrows first with the spoolie. Take the pigment on the angular brush and apply it on your eyebrows. Just follow the natural eyebrow line. Now again take the spoolie and brush out the front to give it a more natural look. Onto the eyes, first take a fluffy blending brush and apply a transition shade on your crease. Now take a smaller fluffy brush and apply a terracotta shade onto the crease. Since we are trying to create a halo effect, apply that terracotta shade on the inner corners and outer corners and join them on the crease. Blend out everything perfectly. Now take another new fluffy brush and apply a indigo color on the outer and the inner corners of your eyes. Indigo color can be a hard color to blend properly. So take a little bit of the pigment on the brush 
and slowly steadily build up the color on your eyes. Take your time and blend everything properly. Now take a shimmery turquoise color and apply it on the middle of the lid with your fingers. The warmth and the moisture of your finger will make the color more vibrant and pigmented. Again go back with the indigo color and a fluffy brush and blend the edges. I'm gonna brush off the excess powder from my under eye. Now take that terracotta color and apply it on your lower lash line. Bring the terracotta color all the way to your tear duct. Now take a pencil brush and apply the indigo color on the lower lash line. Bring the indigo color to the tear duct as well. Now take a smaller pencil brush and apply black eyeshadow on the lower lash line. If you don't have a smaller pencil brush, you can use an angular brush as well. Bring the black eyeshadow all the way to the tear duct as well. Now take a highlighter shade and highlight your brow bone. Use the same highlighter shade to highlight your inner corners as well. Take a coal or kajal pencil and apply that on your waterline. I did my other eye off camera and this is how it looks together. So I have popped on some lashes for some dramatic effect. Now onto the cheeks. I'm going to take these two brown shades from Miss Claire and this uh, contour brush from Vega to do my contour. I'm also going to contour my forehead to make it look a little bit smaller. Don't forget to contour your jaw lines as well. Next with this brush from Morphe, I'm going to contour my nose. And I'm going to use this light brown shade from Mesclair. Next, I'm going to take this blusher palette from Miss Claire and use this color for blush. Now it's time for highlighting. For highlighting, I'm going to use this brush from Morphe and this little shimmer brick from Makeup Revolution. We are also going to highlight our Cupid bow the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose and the chin. I like to take the brush and the residual amount of the highlighter and apply a little bit over here. Now it's time for the lips. Since the eyes are quite dark and glamorous, we're going to apply a lighter shade on the lips. For lips, I'm going to use two of my favorite shades and mix them together. First one is Brink of Pink from Sugar Cosmetics and second one is from Miss Claire, this one. This is number 19. 
I'm gonna take the brink of pink shade and apply on the edges of my lips. Now I'm gonna apply the Miss Clear one on the middle of my lips to create an ombre effect. So this is the look without the hijab. I'm wearing some beautiful earrings as you can see. I'm also wearing a nose pin. Well, it's basically a bindi because I don't have that, you know, I'm actually quite scared of getting my nose pierced, so I'm not going to do that. Next, I'll show you the look with the hijab. So if you want to wear it with a hijab, this is how you can wear it. This is my first time wearing a hijab and I love this hijab. Like every time I see someone wearing a hijab, they look so beautiful. I have attached a little jewelry here. So I think I look kind of good. What do you think? Huh? So this is it guys. Thank you for watching my video till the end. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video till then keep it real bye